At Adelo, we've claimed that Adelo Express is the easiest app to build a restaurant database. And in this video, we're going to show you how easy it is. We all know that pizza is one of the most demanding uh, databases there is to build. It's difficult in that there's all the sizes, the toppings, the crust choices, the sauces, all those different things really build up to be a very, very difficult database to build with complex ordering at the point of sale. So in this video, I'm going to take you from opening a, and creating a new store to entering all the pizzas and soft drinks, and I'm going to do it in less than 30 minutes. So sit back and watch. Well, you want to start by creating an account. It's going to ask for an email or a mobile phone number, the store name, password, and then retype the password. Once you're done, hit sign up. Or you can skip all that and sign up with uh, Facebook. I already have an account, so I'm going to click on that. These are the stores I've already created. I'm going to bypass these and create my own store. I click on that bottom button. When I do that, I get a set of demo databases that you can use if you'd like to test and, and try out. I'm just going to hit my Create My Store. Device number. This is the iPad number. And then you have a list down the left of uh, things that you have to complete. The exclamation point, that is showing you what you have that is required. There are some things that um, are definitely required and some things that are optional. So let's do this. It's um, enter the name of the, of the restaurant. I'm going to make this a pizza restaurant. It defaults to the address of the store where it's located, or the iPad, so it knows kind of where you're at. And yes, I, I do live at a golf course, so that's what it's looking at here is the address. If you want, you do need to put in your store address. I think I'm putting in a store address of a store near me. Email. This is your email. This is the email that you will use also to log in to the um, back office cloud. What's your tax rate? You can put in your discount, your default discount, and then industry. We're in the we're going to do a restaurant. In what category? Uh, let's just do table service, cuisine. I know there's pizza, so I'm going to scroll down and touch on pizza. And what we're doing as we're doing this is actually setting flags in the software to turn certain things on and off. When I chose table service, it's going to allow me to do a table layout, table management, those things. You'll notice now at the top left, I have a check mark, which means I have completed all the things I'm going to do there. Items, uh, it always defaults to beverages and water. You have to enter a price. It can be zero. And that is all you need to do to set up the items. If you have other items, you can put them in here. This You can add the group and then the, add the item and then the price. If this is just simply a quick ad that allows you to go really, really fast. I'm going to bypass this and do my items in the back office, and you'll see why in a minute. Staff is, it defaults to your name. You'll need to enter in your passcode to get into the system. You now have all three areas complete. You can build your store now. Now, that's actually going to build the store in the cloud, so you do need to be connected to the Internet in order to do this. Once I have the store set up, I can then go to the back office cloud and do my programming there. Okay, you'll now notice I'm in the cloud. I signed on to the back office cloud to do this. The address is my.adello.express. Then you'll use that same username and password that you put in to sign in for your account. You can use that 
and then there is your store. Click on that store and you want to then program or manage that store. Most of the flag settings that are required to run a table service pizza restaurant have already been set up for you so you don't have a lot to do as far as the actual setup. We're going to go ahead and get into the items area and set up there and using the pizza matrix setup. All right, down the left hand side you'll notice there is products. You can then click on that and go right into it. You can do the quick add and quick add modifiers for basic items, items with mods. We're going to go on down to the pizza setup. I want to set up the pizza items and show you how easy that is to do. So let's click on the sizes. The menu that I'm going to use uh, has a 12 inch and an 18 inch pizza. So right now we have a small, medium, large. These are the defaults. You can change that to be whatever whatever else you would like it to be. I don't want 112, I just want 12. Whatever size pizzas you have, put those in. Now we have the sizes, 12 and 18. We're gonna now add the crust. If you've not watched my video on the matrix programming, you might want to do that. This is similar to that. So we don't have a crust base, so we're going to go ahead and create one. It's not hard. It's real simple to do. You just pizza crust or crust. You can put a different color button or a picture if you like. I'm just going to do really simple. Just crust is going to be my item. Then crust name. Um, thin picture if you wish and then if this is a if you offer a thin crust 12 inch just put in zero if you charge for that you can charge an extra price for these items if you wish now we're going to do a thick crust If you do a bump charge or an up charge for thick crust, you can put that in at this point. So now I have thin and thick, add crust, and then that's all there is. You've now added your crust. Next up, I'm gonna go in and start adding my sauces. You'll repeat that. You'll need to have a base item for the sauce. Okay, now. Same as before, if you charge for a sauce, a nut charge, you can add it there. Let's add another sauce. I've got two sauce options, now I'm going to add those. What it does, it takes me to the modifier setup area that therefore if I wish to go in and make any changes to those modifier names or prices, I can at that point. Uh, I'm going to go, when I when the screen comes back up, I'm going to go right straight back into the pizza setup and then set up the next option, which in this case is the toppings. So what toppings are we going to add? 
black olives okay on the 12 inch what is the price for a the black olives on this in this case a 12 inch would be one dollar and half would be 50 cents on the 18 inch we go two dollars and half is one dollar and you continue to add toppings as you uh, according to your menu Just fast forward through this so you don't have to watch me type in a couple dozen different uh, pizza toppings. It'd be kind of boring. So just uh, just hang on. We'll be done in a couple of seconds. Okay, now I've added all my veggies and the proteins. So I'm going to go ahead now and add pizza toppings. This, this click now will create all of the options in all of the sizes, including single, double, and triple meat for singles, holes, and halves. So there's a lot going on in the background while this is uh, spinning around here. All right, next up. it's time to actually create the pizza. So let's go ahead and take a look at a base item. This one is going to be key. Uh, your base item is then going to be what is used for printer routings and those things. So it's, there's a beverage department, but that's not really what we're going to stick the reporting into. So let's go ahead and create a new one. Report category, same thing. Let's create a new one there. The item type is going to be regular. Just leave it as that. It is discountable, and uh, we're not doing a mix and match code. So when you do the advanced here, you can then see the printer routing so you would select which printer you wanted this to go to you have an option for 20 different printers this is pizza so it's not going to the bar we do have a label printer if you want to put labels on the box there are some other uh, topping limits if you want to have a limit on how many toppings can be added you can put that here as well uh, sales taxes and then uh, description, force modifiers, and advanced modifiers. I'm not going to use it now. We uh, will use those in a different aspect of this little build, but not here for pizza. So I'm going to hit save. Now we've got our base item. So now the, the common name is what is used on the, on the actual button. So what is the price for the cheese pizza? In our little instance, we're going to make this $13.25. Uh, and the 18-inch pizza is $17.25. So when I hit Add Pizza, now it's going to uh, go to the next item. So I can add multiples at this point. So if I want to add a, um, an option here for a different type of pizza or a different name pizza, that I would do that. But right now I've got a 12 in a 15 inch or an 18 inch. A customer choice, let them build their own.
when I hit p add pizza items, then it's going to add and build those pizzas with all the different sizes and then the option the modifiers to go with it. So now I've got the pizza category or the group and I've got a cheese pizza and a customer's choice pizza. So let's pause just for a moment and, and take a look at the front of house and see what that looks like. Okay, well now we're at the front of house. Let's take a look at uh, what this looks like on the point of sale. So I'm going to sign into my uh, system, my demo system, and look there, it asked me to clock in. So I'm going to go ahead and do that just by touching there. And now I've clocked in. New order, uh, I'm going to go ahead and do dine in. And then it's defaulting to one guest. Just leave it at that. You can turn that on or off if you wish. There's that water item that we had earlier. Let's go ahead and touch pizza. Now I'm looking at cheese pizza. I can choose the size, the crust, the sauce if I wish. And then any additional toppings that I wish I can do that. I can go ahead and hit this done button at the bottom and now I bring up my cheese pizza. Uh, on the customer's choice, let's do that. 18 inch thin and then Alfredo and then pick the toppings that you would like. Right now it's defaulting to whole but if you wish to have a left half, right half, you can touch those and it will change there. So whole pizza, bacon, mushroom, pepperoni, left half, basil, right half, chicken, and now I've got that pizza rang in. You'll notice the price being different because we added toppings and we charge for topping prices both whole and by halves. We set those prices up. Now before you can close out or check out, you do have to sign in as a cashier. And that's simple to do. Just touch that cashier button. And then 25, I'm going to put as my starting till. You cannot till, you cannot cash out until you have put a till in. So I'll go ahead and tender out here. I'm going to do exact cash. And then that's it. So you see how quick and easy that was to create uh, the 12 inch, 18 inch, both thin crust, thick crust with the toppings, all that together. So far, we're at uh, 324, so we're 24 minutes into this to this build. Let's go back in now and do some drinks. All right, to build my drinks, I'm going to use the matrix setup, which is one of my favorite modules. This allows us to create different sizes and, si and uh, flavors of items, all with a single click. So we're going to create a base item, just like we did before on the pizza. I'm not going to stick it in the pizza category. I'm going to go ahead and put it into a new one. Well, we can call it beverages. And then reporting. If I have any printer routings, this is the place to put it, where you would put it in here. So any other options you might have that you want to put in, go ahead and do that here. And that's your base item. Now the item will follow whatever routings you have, whatever printer settings, whatever settings you have. So now I've got my common name I'm going to use here, which with these, this is what the button is going to say on it. So I'm going to just put sodas. Column one, I'm going to make it my sizes. Oh, I didn't put my default price. So let me go back up here. My default price I'm going to put is for a regular soda is $1.50. And so regular it would be $1.50. I'm going to add now a large. I'm going to adjust the price up by 50 cents for a large. It makes it $2. So now I've got a regular at $1.50 and then a large at 50 cents more would be $2. Then I start adding my flavors. 
I'm not going to upcharge for the flavors, but I am going to put in several. Now I've got five, five flavors in two different sizes. The base price is $1.50. Bump charge is 50 cents for a large. Let's go ahead and view to make sure I've got these all entered correctly, and I do. When I hit build matrix, it's now gonna build all those sodas. All those items are now in the system. Uh, you look right here, it's beverages, sodas, and they are into the, into the uh, database already. And there they are. If I want to go in and change any of these, I would do that here. So now I've got all the pizzas and all the uh, sodas rung in. So now we're operational. If I, we're going to head and later on we'll add salads and, san and sandwiches. But for now, we're ringing up at the point of sale. Let me go ahead and bring that back up on the front, on the front of house for you to take a look at how that, how that works there. There's your point of sale screen. So let's go ahead and start a new order, dine in, one guest. So there's my water and my sodas, and there's the pizzas we rang in before. Let's ring in a cheese pizza. And if I wish, I guess I could go ahead and add in some toppings. Beverages, sodas, regular Diet Coke, sodas, large, Sprite. So we've now got to rang that up. The time is 3.30. So now I've built a pizza menu with sodas in 30 minutes. And that's how fast you can build a restaurant using the Adelo Express app. I hope you enjoyed this. Please give us a call if you have any questions. For more information about Adelo and our products, you can always call us at 800-801-6036 or email us at sales at adelo.com. If you have a support question, email support at adelo.com or you can check us out at the family of websites that we have, adelo.com, adelopay.com and the adelo.express.